Welcome back. Today is National Endangered Species Day, and I'm rubbing the neck of one of them. We have quite possibly the cutest, best guest ever in the history of Great Day Connecticut in the studio. Look at you, you little penguins, Scott. Yes, African penguins. Mystic Aquarium has a rich history of inspiring people to care for and protect our ocean planet through conservation, education, and research. Here to tell us more is the supervisor of the penguins, Josh Davis, and volunteer Debbie O'Brien. So good to see the both of you. Thank Aww. you so much. Thanks, Scott. How, Thank how endangered are these species? Yeah. Tara was just asking. We have lost over 97% of their population in the last 100 years. So you all have... Well, They've gone from about 2 million to less than 20,000. Less than 20,000? Yes. What, what's causing them to... Us. Yeah, yeah. It's unfortunately what are we doing? Overfishing, uh, pollution, climate change, and habitat destruction. It's just oh, really no. incredible. Mm -hmm. Where Obviously, they're South African yep. penguins, so they live down in South Africa. Do they adjust to our climate here? What's the difference in terms, you know, things like that? Yeah, the climates are pretty similar. It gets a little bit colder here. So in Miss at Mystic, it can get too cold for African penguins to be outside in the winter sometimes. But winter is their nesting season, so they pretty much come inside every night anyways. Okay. Um, and we recently hatched two chicks in late February. Oh, how wonderful. So it's really a testament to our dedication to the species and to our success at Mystic Aquarium to being able to care for them. And Deb, he said he really likes his neck scratch. Yeah, yeah he I'm really doing. does. Look at him. <laughs> Deb, you've been the volunteer for nine years now. You yeah. live about four minutes away. How awesome. What a great opportunity <laughs> for is. you. It's an amazing opportunity. What have, we, what have you enjoyed about this? Um, just learning about these uh, the animals and working with people. It's an entire new education that I never thought I would have the opportunity to Yeah, did you know anything do? about penguins Not when you started? No, nothing. And Josh, that's a really good thing to point out for the volunteer program. Absolutely. You're always looking for volunteers. Tell us what you're looking for. Yeah. We are. So one of the best ways people can help is by supporting Mystic Aquarium and we couldn't do the work that we do if it weren't for our volunteers so anybody who's interested can go on mysticaquarium.org and fill out an application and read some of the requirements uh, and then it can be anything from assisting our education teams assisting our teams that work with the animals uh, maybe assisting our admissions our guest services team um, we take volunteers across the board and again we, we couldn't do the work we do without them and, and these are terrific. so magical you know I mean I feel so blessed to be able to just hang out and, and touch them they don't have names right you're not teaching name rec so this the penguin's name is Red Green, but we don't train him name oh, recognition. Oh, okay. You're yeah. just Red Green. Okay. Yeah. And so we know that he really likes getting his neck and uh, head scratched. Yeah. That mimics a behavior <laughs> called preening that they practice with each other, and that's one of the ways that we reward them. So you're actually rewarding him, and that's oh, a signal that he's doing, doing a good job. You're doing such a good job on tell, TV. Yeah. Tell us a little bit uh, life expectancy. Tell us a little bit about the bird. Under professional care, we've been able to just about double how long they live. So Red Green is our oldest penguin at 37 years old. 37 years he's old. He's 37? Yes. Wow. wow. And the reason they live so long is because we have a world-class veterinary team on site. Um, we feed them a sustainably caught restaurant quality diet and uh, we like keep Max our... Like Max Downtown or... Uh, well, <laughs> well, probably from the same suppliers they get their seafood from. They just don't need it cooked with the sauces. Exactly. Wait, what do they like? What's their favorite thing to eat? Um, so squid is a dessert item for penguins. Ooh, squid. Yes. Squid. And we have to hide it at the bottom of the bucket to make oh, sure they don't see it. little calamari okay. without yes, the bread. Exactly. Right, right. And exactly. the cocktail sauce. I mean, so we can help by just bringing our kids to the Mystic Aquarium by learning about these animals. Absolutely. And, and is there a chance that we could keep them on the planet? There there is a chance. Luckily, they are a prolific uh, breeder. So if we can fix those situations that are affecting them, there is always a chance their population could rebound. Um, and, and you say there's some good news, right, with yeah. the research you guys are doing? So we have some recent research breakthroughs. So we're developing non-invasive techniques, basically looking at penguin poop to look at the health of a penguin. So well, that, there you have it. I, yeah. hope, I, hope, I hope yours is very healthy, Red Green. <laughs> that means that people won't have to go out and touch penguins. They can just wait for a sample to be left for them. And so it's non-invasive. You don't have to disturb the penguins in any way. Uh, Kate, what was your question? I apologize. Oh, can they waddle? Oh, can they waddle right now? Yeah, no. We can't put them on the floor. And for, yeah, sorry. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> yeah, no, just wondering. Okay, so uh, they've got little babies at home, and I just learned something about them, that the little babies actually don't go in the water right away. Correct. So we are hoping coming up soon that we'll be able to advertise our splash when the penguins get to go in the water for the first time. Uh, but when they hatch, they just have downy feathers. They're not waterproof. Okay. They it's like, a, like the pants. down in our pillows? Exactly like really? that. Really? Yep. So it's like if you wear a down jacket in the rain, you know, it doesn't work too well. Right, those right, feathers right. Get and no wet fabric and softener gets No ruined. fabric softener. <laughs> and De Deb, real quick, give a shout out to other people who might be thinking about what you do. Oh, you mean volunteering? Volunteering. Um, if you have a day, a one day a week, um, and want to work with these animals, come and volunteer with us. It's uh, I call it my free gym membership, um, and also a new education. So it's That's amazing. Terrific. I am uh, 
so happy that I, I get to do this. Well, we're so happy that you guys came. Thank you so much uh, for being with us. I just want to stay with the penguins, but no. we do have... Kara uh, wants many. to take them home. I know. Can I have one? <laughs> and she wants them in her house. <laughs> Can I be a foster fan with a penguin? Okay. And don't forget, Science Week at Mystic Aquarium kicks off today and runs through next mm -hmm. Friday, May 24th. For more information, visit mysticaquarium.org or follow along on social media at Mystic Aquarium. He really loves his neck rub. Really all right. Does. Thank you both. Thank you for Thank bringing you. us in. I hope all of you learned at home, and let's support these penguins. We want you to be around for a long time.